when will restaurant stocks rally again? When's the next move? I think I have the answer. It's looking pretty clear. Let's dig in. Welcome to the newsroom. Today, I have a few stocks I'm talking about. I have Roof, Roof's Chris Steakhouse. I have Den, Denny's, you know, Dippy Eggs, Hash Browns, and I have Play, Dave and Buster's. So there's a few key components for restaurant stocks to rally and take off again. They're not gonna do that unless these key components actually happen. One of them is part of what just happened today. News just came out. U.S. agrees to pay Pfizer and BioNTech $2 billion for 100 million doses of the Rona Cure. So when we get this Rona Cure, as I said in my past videos, everything's going to go ballistic and through the roof. You think about it. Put yourself in perspective of the economy as a whole. People aren't going to restaurants because they're scared. They might get the Rona. Some people are going, but the majority is not. I stay away from restaurants. I did go a couple times. I was stupid, and I went. I was elbow to elbow, and then I liked the elbows, so I left. I got my food to go, I rolled out. We think about what's going on in waves just like the stock market moves. We get scared and then we get comfortable. We get scared and we get comfortable. It happens. And I got a little comfortable. So one thing to notice here on the bottom of this article, Americans won't have to pay for it. So if you want the vaccine, you can easily just go and get it. Get the shot in the arm. Now another factor, okay, there's gonna be possibly a vaccine coming in the near future, maybe this year. That would be awesome for stocks, especially restaurant stocks. All stocks are gonna run, but restaurant stocks need this. I mean, people already wanna go out to eat. They're stuck at home, they're crammed in the house, they're cooking, they're whipping up eggs and chicken and steaks and food all day long. They don't wanna do it. So another thing to look at is the cases. Are the Rona cases going up? Are they going down? These are things you have to look at to see when restaurants will come back because the main thing holding them back is this current pandemic, clearly. Other companies are benefiting, like your Netflixes, your Teslas, all those companies where they're not directly affected by if these cases go up or go down. In some way they are, but not really. Netflix, you stay at home in your house, you know, Microsoft, Google, whatever. Companies aren't affected. Other companies are, especially ones you have to go outside, cover it up. You can't even hear people talking. Now, not only do you have to worry about the cook possibly spitting in your food if you say the wrong thing, now you might just cough on it. Everyone's on edge. You hear a sneeze, you hear a cough, you hear a hiccup. You're kind of like, Rona? Cases are still steadily going up, reaching all-time highs. Look at the deaths. Deaths have gone dramatically down. That's one thing to, to keep in mind, and that's going to influence people whether they want to go out or stay in. If you're young, you're probably going to go out. If you're old you're probably gonna stay in. All right, so the first stock I wanna talk about, I'm gonna use them as an example to show you when I think these stocks are gonna take off and what they're gonna do, things to look for. So first I'm gonna look at is Denny's. If you look at the spreadsheet, distance pre-Rona, 168% potential. Again, if you want the spreadsheet, it's linked in the description. So a couple things I wanna mention real quick. I called out Denny's twice before in other videos. The first one was on May 3rd, right here. It pulled down a little bit, didn't exactly nail it, but if you held, which I did, it did do its run, which was a total of 24%. Came down again, I did another video, this one I nailed a day before the rally on June 3rd, another 37%, so you could have made a total of 55%. So after those restaurant stocks went up, you can't hold them forever because there was talk in the news that a second wave might happen, and they ran up very fast. They ran up really fast, very soon, and they cooled down, also, there was a spike in cases. There was also closures happening. The stocks came down. That would have been a good point to sell to lock in profits. Unless you were long-term, that's fine. But if you were just looking to day trade, swing trade, make some money, that would have been a good exit once we saw those spikes in cases because that's obviously going to pull it down. Vaccine data started to come out. All these companies started popping up. Oh, I'm working on vaccine. No, I am. No, I am not. They're all jumping in on the bandwagon, which is good if you're in other stocks because the more companies that are involved in making a vaccine, the more likelihood that good data is gonna come out from one of them, right? If it's just one company and they fail, we're, we're doomed. It's going lower. But one fails, there's still 20 others. So I feel that we're currently in a channel change. It's actually kind of like the stock's just falling, falling, falling. Now it's like, whoa, 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 hold on. We got what, a vaccine? And then investors are gonna start to price it in, looking forward that a vaccine's gonna happen, and they're gonna start buying it, driving this back up, and then when it comes out, the real rally starts. So channel direction changes. Let me show you what I mean by that. So here's an example, the first one. This might've been more of a bouncy ball effect, but you could see it's heading down, then the channel shifts and it goes up. 
Again, is this the trash man? Messing my video up. Get out of here, trash man. Trash was yesterday. Then we had our next channel change, which is in the middle here. This was actually not a bounce. This was actually a real rally move. Went down and then changed directions and head up. Now I'm saying this because I think that we're in the next channel direction change. Heading down and then it went a little sideways. It's creeping out. It's like, come on, let's change direction. I'm tired of going down. Now we have strong support at $8 on Denny's. Resistance at $9 on Denny's. So I think once we break out of that $9 range, we might be going in the next direction. It needs to break out, needs to run rapidly. And again, these stocks won't really aggressively move in this direction unless something pushes it. And we're getting a lot of vaccine news. That's going to push it. Cases going down, less closures. Those things are the key components to help with this next rally. So that is Denny's. Here's Ruthie Ruth. If you guys don't know who Ruth is, you have you have never had a steak? So we got support on Ruth down at five. It's in no man's land right now. So we have a wide gap here. Support at five, resistance at eight big gap. It's chilling in the middle. Nothing's holding this thing up right now. So like I said, here's the sell off from that channel. Direction change. It's starting. It's going down and now it's kind of pulling out and it could either break down lower or it can actually head up in that new channel, which is my guess. So it needs to make that move. It needs to have a nice 10% day at some point. So look at this. I chose all the peaks on roof and every single peak I chose is higher. That's another good sign. If the peaks were lower and lower, bad news. They're getting higher. So just basing it off of that, I feel that the next peak is gonna be anywhere in the 12 to $16 range. So if it's currently at seven, that's a double. That's a two X return. I love Ruth's and their chart overall. If you look at like a five year chart, looks incredible. Ruth's has been around forever. It's ran by some old lady. I think her name's Ruth, but it's a great company. I, I love Ruth. I'm in Ruth for the long haul. Hopefully they don't go out of business. If they do, I guess their stakes will be on sale. I'll at least make some money back that way. So I can see it doing something like this, running a little sideways in my little yellow swiggly and then heading up to 12 to 16. For those of you that are thinking, hey, maybe $16 is too aggressive for a price target. Zoom out, bird's eye view, and look at this. Ruth's bottom pre-Rona was 20. I'm conservative at 16. Ruth is still selling steaks. They're delivering them. Or pick up Uber Eats. You can Uber Eats a $50 steak. It's incredible. So for my final stock, I could have chose Red Robin, which has the potential of 365% if you look at my spreadsheet, versus Play, 297%. So why would I choose Play over Red Robin? If you look at Red Robin, bird's eye view, you'll see why. Denny's. Beautiful, progressive up channel over many years. Only went up. Then the major drop. Ruth, only going up, progressively. Red Robin, straight down since 2015. Straight down. Dave & Buster's, strong bottom at 40. It has been going up, and it has leveled out. It has started to trend down a drip, but it wouldn't fall below 40. So I'm seeing a very strong bottom at 40 on play. So if I'm saying the bottom is $40 on Dave & Buster's, that's still 187% potential. It's still huge. So I like Dave & Buster's, massive company. All over the place you go in there, you have fun. They just might need a little shot in the arm before they do it. So zooming in, we got higher lows. If you don't know what higher lows is, the lowest point it was at was at seven. The next lowest point was eight. The next lowest point was nine. So every time it has a low, it's higher. That's a very good sign. So I drew this line here, higher lows. It's holding that support line. And if I'm counting the peaks just like I did on Ruthie Roof, the third peak should be around 2750. If I'm just following a nice line of peaks. So as we get closer to the end of the year, the markets want a vaccine. That's what everyone is waiting for, that vaccine news to come out and then everything's just gonna go ballistic. And now there's always a downside, a bad side. If these things don't happen, if there's no vaccine this year, if cases continue to go up and we get a second wave, and play breaks this line of support, it becomes very, very risky. Same with all the other stocks. Nothing is ever 100% people. It's always like hand sanitizer, 99.99%. So we got a dangerous support if it breaks that line down at 858. If it breaks that support, they're probably going bankrupt. You're falling deeper and deeper and deeper. It's a much higher climb to get out of the hole. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Those are the three restaurant stocks. I know what I'm doing when I make some money off Denny's. I'm going to go get a nice breakfast. I'm going to get a couple dippies, hash brown, a little rye bread with jelly and butter, and a big old orange juice. Every bite, 
I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna tell the waitress, hey, listen, this meal was free. Hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do videos every week. If you're already subscribed, you know what you're closer to. But for the new people, you're a little bit closer to retiring young. <laughs>